Look at Mike Tolbert. Halfback, fullback, helmetless tackler. Third and one. On the 23 yard line, Tanner again to the outside and without his helmet. He has to go down, though. Once the helmet comes off, it's not like it used to be with Jason Witten. Oh, That's all you think oh. about. The helmet comes off, the play is over. Remember, Witten had that spectacular run after he made the catch. And that's what you love to see in a young player. He has kept fighting all night long. Helmet comes off. I guarantee you the defense was still playing. Arkin got a little shot down the field. That one will be remembered by Jason Garrett and company. Well, it's so much fun for me to watch these second half. Manning throws to Shockey. And it's Shockey losing his helmet and picking up the first down. Well, I'll tell you what, if that doesn't get this team going, I don't know what will. Jeremy Shockey making a nice catch and then turning it up to pick up some extra yardage the helmet came off a lot of times when that happens you're going to see a player go down and try to protect themselves watch this helmet comes off there and Shockey's still going and looking for contact he is a beauty <laughs> and he likes it too picked up five yards third and short coming up back to that Shockey play yeah I mean this is this is what he brings. I mean, he's obviously it's well said. He's he's emotional. He's fiery. He's competitive, and and it's hard for him to control. Second down and eleven. Oh, uh -oh. I just jinxed him. Doesn't matter. With or without a helmet, J.J. Watt will always put his fingerprints on a game. But as you see, a flag has been thrown. Loss of nine. First sack back as it stands now to the 42. John Reed, the right tackle. Yeah, he just gets underneath him and just Alex Smith has no chance, but this is what JJ does his ability to bend to use that lower body. Everybody on their feet and on a run up to the left sideline Hill trying to get to the first down he battles and he dives and he may have it without a helmet of oh, Steve Young special the helmet came flying off and he just kept running forward toward the left sideline after the helmet was already gone Dansby got him but too late and the Niners should have a first down what a run Mariani averaging over 10 yards of return and still on his feet finally out of bounds Brian Brayman didn't have his helmet on. <laughs> yeah, and leads with his. Now, is that helmet the helmet or not? Uh, I technically no. Wow. That was a collision. That is your instincts taken over as a football player and not your intelligence. Career catches for a Dallas tight end. And he's got two tonight, one for a touchdown. Romo back with time. Deep middle Witten. There you go. Now he needs three. Lost his helmet. Keeps running without a hat. 15 to the 10 to the 6. And they'll get a little more yardage for taking off the man's hat. Don't take a man's hat. Well, the flag came out, and I think this is going to be a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. 35 the on the pass be. to Witten. Sorry. No, no. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, really. It's got to be a, a helmet to helmet hit on Quentin Michael here. Oh, man. There is no foul on the play. Why? He ran both feet on ground when he was hit. <laughs> well, he was There's hitting no the foul. head. And he ran, and Michelle <laughs> Witten was sitting back at home saying, Wait, wait, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. We're watching a replay, and we see him head to head. And they pull the hat off, and Witten keeps running. Now, Quentin Michael is 5'10. Okay, Jason Witten is 6'5". <laughs> so when you go helmet to helmet, you got to go up a little bit. Christy Scales? NFL Films is going to love this. Witten comes over with his helmet off, blood streaming from his left nostril, man. This is real good uh, NFL film stuff. First.